happen. Well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that is not the love that will make you happy. What will make you happy is to share all the love you have inside of you. That is the love that will make the difference. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow down one, NASDAQ up 29, S&P's down two, gold contract up $21, trading at 1,349 an ounce. Silver down 74 cents at $20.43 an ounce. Platinum up 44 at 11.38 an ounce. Copper down four pennies at 2.18 a pound. Light sweet crude off a buck, $41.94 a barrel. Bonds, the 10 year note. Up 14 ticks, 132.18, 30 year bond up a point and a half, 173.10. King dollar down 388 ticks, trading at 96.78. The euro is at 110 and the yen is trading at 105. My phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so what you have is this. Your SPY is trading at 216.52. That wants to finish its ABC structure on the way up. That structure gets you a price point, folks, of 218.90. The NDX 100. What do you have with the NDX 100? The Qs are finished today at 114.58. That is an ABC structure up to the 121.99 area. The Qs right now, after the close, are trading up another 40 cents. Why? Because Facebook just came out with numbers. Facebook closed at 123. That's trading at 133. The NASDAQ composite. Composite also is in an ABC structure on the way up. The composite closed at uh, 51.39, that number that it wants to go to is 54.69. You're gonna have Amazon, you're gonna have, uh, let's see, uh, Google uh, come out tomorrow. I suspect uh, Amazon, Google, uh, Apple uh, put the juice inside the NDX uh, 100 today. That's what's gonna finish up the NDX 100 ABC structures. We go over to the gold contract. What do we, gold caught a bid out here today. Uh, we did 209,000 contracts, you're at 13.40. Uh, bottom line is that this little baby can get into now the 1348 area. It didn't have the juice behind the move. You're going into 264,000 contracts. So we'll see how it handles the uh, 200, and, I mean, uh, uh, 1348 area. Um, that being said, uh, you talk about silver. Silver caught a big bid. Uh, silver was up 3.7% uh, out here today. Gold was up 1.5%. Uh, uh, the silver contract was up 73 cents. You had the wide price spread. You had the accelerated volume. That's saying silver is going to go up and test its spike high from J July 5th, which is 21.22. Right now, you're at 20.41. Bonds. We take a look at the 10-year bond. What you have with the 10-year is this. 10-year note, rather. 10-year uh, note, up 14 ticks. We... Uh, at 132.18, uh, bottom line, this held price, but you get light volume. So I suspect, um, let's see, 132.16. Yeah, this can make a run for 132.29, uh, you know, on a short term basis. Uh, longer term, what I'm looking at is that I'm looking at uh, this coming back into the 130.21 area. 30-year bond, same type of setup in the 30-year. What you have with the 30-year bond is this. 30-year bond was up a point and a half today. You're at 173.10 and 170. Eh. Hey, you're into the longer you stay over 173.07, you can go higher. You know, doesn't have the juice, but uh, that's the number. So you get below that uh, tomorrow, then that would set up that you are going to go back to this breakout area from the June 24th. That's my take on, on both of them, you know, but it looks to me that you, what you will have, which is unusual, is yet the notes going higher, the bonds going higher, market going higher, all simultaneously. Uh, your, uh, King Dollar, what do we have with King Dollar? So King Dollar, the Fed come out with this statement, folks. Statement inside the Fed was that things are getting better, and, you know, uh, bottom line is that they 
uh, well, hey, let me read you the statement. It'd be easier reading the statement because uh, what what you do what you did have here. Let's see. Uh, Fed begins to crawl towards a uh, rate hike. Federal Reserve policymakers took a step towards raising interest rates later this year, but stopped short of signaling that that move could come as soon as September. That's how uh, they bottom line said, hey, listen, you know, things are better. They're going to make an, another assessment on it at their next meeting. That's where this thing is shaking out. We go up and we take a look at uh, King Dollar. What we have with King Dollar is this. Uh, King Dollar traded up to 97.54, gave it up on price, pulled back to 96.70. Uh, but what you have here is this, the 96.70 level itself is the highs of June 24th. Um, now, I don't even, you don't have to use that bar. Why? Because when we actually went topside also on June, uh, July 21st, we went from 96.76 up to 97, and we did that with 24,000 contracts. So you can see what you have here. You actually pull back, and you're pulling back with lighter volume. So what that is dictating, that is dictating that the dollar still wants higher price. And what does happen, and this is really, uh, this is going to be wild watching to see how this market shake, shakes out tomorrow, meaning how the currency market shakes out tomorrow, why and the bonds, because what ends up happening most of the time, it's a, it's a digestion of what that statement's all about. Now, the unique thing um, on the statement here is that there was no press conference. Um, and that was, what happens is that when the Fed sets up their schedule at the beginning of the year, that was always out there that there was not going to be a, a press conference. Let's go over to Facebook. So Facebook closed at 123. It's trading at 131. Numbers uh, like go like this on Facebook. So where is she? Okay, let me see. So there, the estimate earnings was 82 cents. They made 97. Monster number, man. Unbelievable. Um, okay, they, uh, let's see. Intraday. Their revenue, uh, they, were, they were looking at 6.01 billion they took in 6.44 billion. Big numbers, man. Big numbers. Uh, bottom line is that, you know, uh, if you had joined us uh, at the 3 o'clock hour, we were kind of bisecting and dissecting this baby. What was really weird about the Facebook deal, folks, and this is what's always dangerous, Facebook had spiked higher, had traded lower before the numbers come out. It looked like the numbers had come out, and they didn't come out. Bottom line, they came out, that thing shot up 10 points. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there. We'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials closed down one, NASDAQ up 29, S&P's down one and a half. We're going to be right back.